Avon Foundation has been a wonderful source of funding for our research, and they are willing to fund things that are high risk, that may or may not work, but are gonna move things forward. We listen to a number of, I wouldn't call them unorthodox, but perhaps untried, unfunded initiatives that perhaps we're in the unique position of, of helping move along. Avon funding has been an enormous advantage in our research. It's permitted us to think creatively, innovatively, so-called out, outside the box. It's the type of approach that one doesn't get through any other foundation or through any other governmental source. NIH right now wants to fund research that pretty much has already been done. I think the government really wants to do work that's more evolutionary, whereas research done by the Avon Foundation is work that's supposed to be much more revolutionary. The contributions of the Avon Foundation are truly unique because they encourage people to take work on high-risk projects, and this is exactly what we are doing. The Avon Foundation is definitely willing to take a chance. Um, to be perfectly blunt, I'm, I come from a very small university in, in upstate New York, and they took a chance on funding a project that, um, that, that may be very interesting. There's a direct link between research and increased life expectancy. Unfortunately, it is possible that there may be as much as a billion dollar cut in healthcare research by the federal government. This will have a very bad negative impact and so the Avon Foundation funding becomes even more crucial and that money comes largely from the Avon Walks. So your support and the support of the Avon Foundation is helping us to understand and illuminate the causes of breast cancer so that our daughters will grow up in a world without breast cancer.